We have a question from Clay. Clay says, I have a very physical job in construction, and oftentimes it's hard to balance a training program and recovery time. I just turned 41, and I'm looking for a balance with my kettlebell training and preventing injury. Any suggestions on mobility, injury prevention, high reps and sets with recovery in mind? Clay, I feel like I should just say, why don't you read one of my books? Uh, Intervention was written for you. Um, But uh, basically, I think a combination of original strength, Tim Anderson's work. If you're on uh, DJU, you can find it in our downloads, uh, his book, Pressing Reset. Or just look up Tim Anderson, Original Strength. Um, There might even be a a, a licensed practitioner in your area to help you with that. But uh, Tim's videos are are amazing uh, on his site and on his YouTube channel. Um, But original strength is what I recommend for mobility um, and and injury prevention now. Yeah, Uh, uh, With an Olympic lifting meet I had a couple of years ago, Tim gave me a little template of movements that I would mix in with my snatches and clean and jerks. And I, I felt I felt tremendous, even though I had obvious, uh, you know, issues because of my age and my uh, uh, athletic career. Uh, In the areas of what you should do with the kettlebells, um, I would suggest there's an exercise called the half kneeling press. I'm a big fan of that for people who want injury prevention. It's, It's one knee down and it doesn't really matter which hand you press with. You could also do double, uh, And the idea on, the reason I like that is it requires you to really stretch the hip flexor, really have the pelvic bowl under control and have the upper body on control. Obviously, I'm going to recommend hangs for you because I think hangs are great for uh, anybody (laughs) who's, I don't know, older than 20, uh, who does anything that relates to the shoulders. So half kneeling press and and hangs might be two of the best things you can do for and again injury prevention i like it when i see the term i know what it means but frankly you know if a great white shark bites you it's tough or you get t-boned in a car or if you even get rear-ended you know that some there are there are forces that we deal with that there is no magic you know exercise to prevent those kinds of things. I guess the great white shark was over the top. Um, The goblet squat by itself might be a really great exercise. And remember, I would start thinking more like we teach it at the gym here. We're doing longer and longer pauses at the bottom. And then it comes, uh, and now it's time to talk about the more ballistic stuff like the swings and snatches and cleans. Um, I would ramp those down uh, just for a while while maybe you start to, if you're, if you're, if you're struggling with, uh, balance right now, the half kneeling presses, the hangs and the goblet squats, uh, are going to be restorative. Will uh, you know, they'll, they're going to, they're going to have some hypertrophy. You're going to feel better when you do them. So there's some value there with the swings and cleans and snatches. If your technique isn't spot on, you're kind of adding to the problem. Uh, if you know any of the Turkish get-up movements or the partial movements of the Turkish get-up, um, they they might have great value for you, okay? Um, reps and sets, uh, I would say with the standard DeLorme numbers, you know, 15 to 30 total reps, three sets of eight, five sets of five. Uh, people who have listened to my podcast before are probably going, I could have told you that answer, but it's true. Uh, I would like you to have someone look at your swing clean and snatch technique before you really start pushing those numbers up because if you are in a construction job you're getting a lot of that movement and if you have any um, issues any hitches with your with your ballistic kettlebell movements uh, i i really just think it's going to set you up for some injury uh, not for some injuries some issues okay thank you clay good question (laughs) 